It's a dozen years since Eddie Gray last played in a Scotland side with Kenny Dalgleish. Yesterday they were rival managers as Hull City met Liverpool at Boothbury Park with an overspilled crowd back on Merseyside watching match of the day coverage on a giant screen at Prenton Park, home of Tranmere Rovers. Hull City are unchanged for the seventh consecutive match, a contributing factor to their recent success. There are one or two connections with the Liverpool team. Ken Demange began his career in England there. Richard Jobson was at Watford with John Barnes. And Billy Askew has played with Peter Beardsley at Newcastle and with John Aldridge and Ray Houghton at Oxford. Keith Edwards goes into this round as the leading scorer in the FA Cup with 18 goals. He should have had to give best to Ian Rush, whose total is 22, but because of a knee injury, the Welsh International is not included in Kenny Dalglish's lineup. But Gary Gillespie is. He comes back after missing 23 games after a knee operation. The referee comes from Kendall in Cumbria. And curiously, it's exactly 84 years to the day since these two teams first met. And that's it. Liverpool, who now attack the goal to our right, one by six goals to two. And Hull City have never managed a victory against Liverpool. Here's Gary Gillespie, good to see him back. There's some speculation that uh, Alex Watson would be included in Kenny Dalglish's lineup, but in fact, uh, Kenny has put him on the bench alongside Steve Staunton. Billy Askew. Nice ground which once held 55,000 people but these days restricted to 20,000. Maskew and Houghton. Acrobatics from Gareth Roberts. The man in goal for Hull. And taken over from Tony Norman in December. Norman went to uh, Sunderland and uh, Billy Whitehurst came with the goalkeeper to start a new career at Hull. Demange. McMahon. Two ahead but nobody wide. Now John Barnes comes forward. by Gillespie, that was very difficult. Bounce could have embarrassed him hugely, but it didn't. Beardsley, John Aldridge is up ahead. Houghton coming square. Bounce had the other way. It was in the end comfortable for Neil Buckley. Whitehurst. Liverpool player down at the other end. And here's Edwards. Ray Houghton who came back and they're not too happy on the Liverpool bench the play was allowed to continue Gillespie who's down and there was a hole in the centre of the defence shin bone is the problem it would seem you see the player there prostrate and Edwards able to get through and good play by Ray Houghton Problem that kept him out, Gillespie. Has to be the back of the calf. And he's at the shin bone. Certainly, low down. Nothing a manager can do about situations like this except to make the decision as to whether the player stays or goes, and he would uh, accept the view of the physiotherapist. Watson will have to wait. Gillespie is to continue. Although rather hobbling his way 
into the uh, edge of the six-yard area. Askew takes the corner. Grobelar goes for it, doesn't make it, and it was Buckley who came up and didn't get enough of it. Very good corner. Over Grobelar. Buckley is number six. He just couldn't get it on target. Mulby, who has gone into the back four because Gillespie looks as though he can't continue. This is Beardsley. Houghton, four on the attack. Now McMahon just on the edge of the area. Nickel on the overlap. And Gillespie cannot continue. Played barely 11 minutes before he's replaced now by Alec Watson. Barnes. McMahon. A lot of space for Beardsley. Four in the area for Liverpool. One of them is Barnes, who scores with great ease. So much space there. And the disappointed goalkeeper looks on as the scorer is congratulated. There was so much room for Beardsley. He was able to turn, pick his man, and the marking on Barnes was non-existent, as indeed it was on Aldridge, number eight, who celebrates as the ball goes in. John Barnes, it's his sixth goal of the season, and a really very, very comfortable header. Not too much support for Ian Hesford here. And he was well beaten. Howell strike force up front and not seeing too much of the ball at this juncture. Brown's tackle. Coming to the club from school. Beardsley. Houghton. Aldridge. Jobson didn't look! And he's very lucky to get away with it. Ray Houghton shot into the side netting. Really an awful back pass, and they've had a few problems at the back. Just didn't look, the uh, Hull skipper. Goalkeeper was quickly to Ray Houghton, and Hull escaped. Demange. Jobson. Whitehurst. Roberts. Work well. Whitehurst. Well, apart from one corner, that was the first threat that Hull have posed, and certainly the best passing movement. Roberts cross. Whitehurst header. They're taken from a few yards forward. Beardsley. They've got a man over. Good clearance off the line by Jacobs. 